Okay, we're looking at the TalkPod A36 Plus, and this ships as a GMRS radio, but it can easily be expanded to also cover the ham band. So this would make a great emergency radio. You know, in an emergency situation, you can broadcast on any frequency you wish if your life or property are threatened. So here you go. It's got a nice battery, 1,500 milliamp hours, very compact radio. It comes with two charging options. It can charge in the cradle or via USB-C, which is very nice to see that kind of flexibility. Radio is very easy to use. I used Chirp to program it. You'll see a little bit on that later. And that was a piece of cake. And you can see here how you put the battery on. It's a little tricky. You slip the, the bottom part of the battery into two little slots there, and then it snaps in at the top. And then the, uh, the belt clip actually clamps onto, slips onto the, uh, the battery itself. You can see here a nice, bright, easy to read screen. And here you can see how I push the push to talk, and I believe button number eight, yeah. And then you turn it on. And you can see it's a little tricky to do this with your fingers, but then you turn it on and it says expand on the screen. And bam, you've done it. Now all of a sudden it can transmit. You can see here I'm going to go ahead and transmit on both a ham frequency and a GMRS frequency. No problem whatsoever. So you, there's the call channel for uh, ham and then the GMRS channel one. It'll transmit on both of those. So it's handy to have that flexibility. Here's an audio sample. Testing. This is GMRS channel one. Testing one, two, three. GMRS channel one. Testing one, two, three. Testing the receive audio. Testing the transmit audio. Testing the transmit audio. One, two, three, four. I'm about two miles away on this handheld. Testing one, two, three, four. Now I'm running a Mac and so it was a piece of cake. I just hooked up the radio. I downloaded from the radio and you saw there what the um, channels were from default, those GMRS channels. Then I copied from my uh, Baofang from all the channels that I had had entered in that and then I just pasted them right into here. So it saves you a lot of time. If you've already got the channels programmed for a different radio, you can just copy and paste them right into here and you can see I've got all the repeater channels in here got everything named got everything kind of the way that I want it and now I just uploaded that to the radio and once that's all on the radio you're just good to go you're good to go fully functional and uh, two big two big thumbs up for this radio as far as ease of use extremely versatile I, I don't know. I mean, these radios are getting really good, folks, and the price point is affordable. So there you go. I'm uploading it right to the radio there, and you can see that's just a piece of cake. So some some radios don't work with Chirp, and to me, that's a big downside. So because I run the Mac, so I, I need it to be compatible with Chirp. So let me know what you guys think. I think two thumbs up.